Let's see what it, if there's any new updates to the games in here or not, because I actually don't have a clue. <clears throat> okay, so cart is the same, brawler hasn't changed, but there is new cart cart stuff. If so, then it's time to throw down. All right, we got boot camp. Support card, Chadley the Callus. <clears throat> Start with Chadley, who unleashes a powerful effect when the when he replaces an ally. In addition to the other cards in your hand, channel your inner robotic research assistant by getting the gears in your head turning, ex expertly analyzing the battlefield and placing your trump card at exactly the right moment to swing momentum in your favor. Gigatrice? <clears throat> okay. I mean, my deck's already pretty good. I'm gonna leave it as is. I don't really want you early on. Everybody else I think is fine though. Perfect. All right, what is this? Replace an ally and raise the power of all ally cards on effect tiles by the replaced ally's power. I mean, I don't even think I would need that, but we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> I feel like that's not really a necessary card, but we'll see. Cactus? Okay. Well, oh well, I got what I wanted, sort of. Actually, this will work out well. I have a plan now, chat. This fucker's trying to ruin it. He's being a dick. Okay, that's fine. Interesting. Well, you've are you're already cooked, my guy. I didn't even use Chadley yet. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, because he can get rid of dudes, huh? I hope he's ready to get smoked. That's the big time right there. Easy peasy. Big points. I could have got even more by playing Joe. Alrighty, Keen Moon, we'll see you later, man. Appreciate you hanging out, dude. Gigatrice. When play, destroy allied and enemy cards on affected tiles. Oh, just straight up destruction. Okay. Yeah, it just seems okay. Gimmick Battlefield. Ifrit's 32-bit flames. Begin the match with polygonal Ifrit placed on the center of the battlefield. This flame shaping summon puts players through a trial by fire as he enhances any cards, be they ally or enemy, on the affected tiles surrounding him. Okay. It sounds like you might want a Materia Guardian. Okay. It sounds like you might just want to go in like ASAP. What? the hell? You see that, chat? That's crazy looking. Yeah, this actually, this hand's actually really good. Um... This is certainly interesting. I wonder how this is going to play out. Is 
So we'll go there first. Oh yeah, he's not gonna be as... What is going on? I'm like... My game's like taking... There's like some kind of interference or something. I don't know what's happening. Like when I'm hitting left, it's like not going. Yeah, there was some kind of interference. I don't know what that was about. I really should take that upper spot. Oh, I see what you did there. Well played, well played. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, yep, now you lose, sucker. I ain't playing games with you, son. Um. Wow, yeah, absolute destruction. And I get a bonus 10 on the bottom. Damn, is that gonna be like what? Almost. Almost 50. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 45. Noise. And then we got Materia Guardian. When first enfeebled, lower the attack power of enemy cards on affected tiles by 6. What the hell? Huh. Boot camp. Compete in a relatively for relatively forgiving match spinning spinning three rounds to see how many total points you can accrue win and receive a reward based on your point total 50 support card will be added to your hand at the start of round one you'll draw five cards at the start of each round you cannot draw cards during the round okay so just get a shit ton of points across three rounds um nope this hand is perfect Oh, shit. That hand is perfection. Basically. Oh, but you don't draw cards, it said, yeah? Shit. Perfect. Goodbye, cactus. got to get as many points as possible, remember? So... We got 23 here. That's how the interesting. Okay.
I don't personally need to have some of these guys out like right away. Yeah, we definitely want to say save Joe for a, a, a party, a setup that I'm going to be able to put on somewhere. That's good. I can move forward then there, so that's really powerful. Okay, bottom row I should be able to take. I'm gonna think here. Eh, maybe not. Cactus there, okay. Oh, you bastard. Okay. If I go there, I think that's the play. Like it at least gives me that, that top row. I gotta get 20 more points. Damn, this one's tough. Oh, there we go. I got nine on the bottom. Okay, I didn't realize I had that. Oh, it, maybe it's just total? I don't know. Okay. Wow. This is going to be rough, Captain. Um... This one at least gives me it. It gets me to move over some. Power man. At this point, there's not much I can do. <laughs> yeah, I just pass here. Shit. Yeah, I can't win it. Damn it, I'm short by one point, dude. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, this is harder than I thought it was. This is, yeah, because the way the cards operate, it's just, this is way different. So you actually want like some big cards. When played, destroy enemy cards on affected tiles. Okay. Damn. So I didn't get it completely, though. I want to get the first time win here. Yeah, this this isn't this deck is not gonna work for this. Yeah, you want you need to be like kind of strong, and you also need to be able to push. Um. Yeah, that deck is not gonna cut it. Right, I'm gonna have to make a new deck. So I need, I need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want cards that bring, that give me other cards that will help a ton. Um, so they're all gonna have stars essentially. I mean, our dragon's good in general.
Mm. Yeah, Mind Flare is honestly not that good here. Grab that, grab that. <sighs> Shiva could actually be good here. Uh, when enemy cards are played from hand, raises card power by one. That could be good. Mithril Golem is really good here. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards in Fictile House by one. When first enhanced, lower the power of allied enemy cards in Fictile Tiles by four. When played, lower the power of allied enemy cards. Destroyed an allied card and replace it. I don't know if I'd want that here. When played, destroy enemy cards on affected tiles. Yeah, I just can't get that one. Raise power by one for each enhanced allied card. Adds positions in the shape of a certain gold saucer attraction. And play story allied enemy cards on affected tiles. That could be really good. And then J Squad here. And then, man, what else should I put in? Cactuar might actually be good here because of the boost. I wish I had some more destruction cards. Um. here destroys and enfeebles this one outright just kills something which is pretty good but I only want to focus on what's in front of me that's the problem so let's grab the cockatrice I guess let's try this out Should be fine. Because I'll be able to play the Bag Dragana like right away, which is really strong. So every time an enemy plays a card, I'm basically going to get to do something with it, so. You bastard. I was afraid of that. this bottom spot. I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Hold on. Yeah, I think I'm better off just holding on to these. I win. I just got to make sure I get the right points, you know. Wait, do you get an item if you get that middle round or middle one or something? Okay. 
When round ends, spawn cards in enemy position, empty positions that raise your score equal to that position's rank. Okay, I see. like my position right now, unfortunately. <laughs> um... I pass now, he just wins, so... This is a bad position for me, like, regardless, right now. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god, dude, this is terrible. Oh boy, this is bad. Well, yeah, so J Squad and Chief is probably not the best idea because it's it's cards I really just can't afford to play, you know? Holy shit. Alright, well. At least I was able to play that up there, which will help. Issue I have right now is I don't have anything to, like, move cards forward more. Which is really freaking rough. That's basically what I have to do right now. Ah, damn, this sucks. Yeah, this is this this is not gonna this deck is not gonna work out. <sighs> yeah, I've gotta I've gotta change some cards in here. Like the Shiva card and whatnot, and the Johnny card. I got too many three costs and they're just I don't have I gotta I gotta have more cards that I can build off of. Like get positions and things like that. So Cactuar is gonna be good here because I need points, right? So buffs and whatnot are gonna be really strong. Way more than normal. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this guy will buff two at a time. That's hella good, actually. And they're, yeah, that guy's fucking good. He does the card above him times... Okay, times four. Times four. Alright, this might be a little better. Because I need to destroy their cards. That's where Cockatrice is really good. Okay, we picked up Bagnadrana, which is helpful. Damn. I was hoping for something a little better there, but... All right.
Because the way this one's currently getting set up, I can probably do this. I'm hoping. He's not going to give up now, so I kind of want, want my turn to go so I can see what I what my plays I want to do are. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to see there, sort of. Play at the bottom? Damn you. Oh, that position is nasty. Alright, we're just chilling right now. Because I need him to play at that bottom position. Okay. Because if I win that bottom position, that's big. What does this do? When you win with this in the lane, add a random Cactuar card to your hand. Oh, I see. At least I get an extra plus six. That's huge. Or plus ten, I mean. Alright, we're at 24, so that's pretty good. Alright, so they got strong boy. I might, ju I'm, I might just have to save that bag Nadrana here. We'll see. Huh, okay. Interesting choices right now being made. That one card at the bottom right now is plus five, though. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, they can't do anything with it right now, right? So I might as well play there. Oh, fuck you. Nice. Okay, that'll help for later. This is rough. I'm just going to cut this one. Yeah, him using that is just dumb. That doesn't make any sense. Actually, if I play there... Is that worth it? Uh, That'll only give me... He has me one more, but what's the point of that? There'd be, there is no point, right? I get more on the bottom, so that's fine because of the end, the way it works. Yeah, so I get 12 there. Yeah, so we take that. So we just got to get 14. We just got to win and get 14 here. That's it. That is the play, chat. Perfect. And we still have one of these, which means I can pop a Bagnadrana up there, which is really, really strong right now. We can come out really strong right now. Okay. That's a that's a that's a strong boy right there. 
He doesn't have anything in mid, which is really good. Um, I could play there, but I really don't want to. Fuck. What do I play? Um... There's, there's nothing there. So I guess I have to play like like this for now. I need him to play something so like okay, there we go. That's the key I was looking for right there, guys. Actually, this would be really strong. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, because then I'll just play this. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're cooking. Chicken dinner. Got it. Oof, that took some work. Nice, we got the 70. Okay, we got what I wanted there. We got the... Nice. Yeah, the 50. Survival. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be much else here. Hey there. Got a big pile of points to trade me? Um Right now, no. Make sure to come back once you've racked up more points. I think it's funny that Kate Sith is still here. All right, anything else that would be new? And away we go. I, don't, I mean, we never did the sky wheel, but we couldn't, so I don't know. Maybe it's still not a thing. Have a day. Are you ready to embark on the night? My apologies, sir. Our guests without a ticket are unable to board the sky wheel. Dumb. Dumb. I wish I would kind of tell you like what uh, what things are available. Event. Battle. Okay, so we did all those. So I think otherwise we're out of here. I think we're out of here, chat. So is Corel Corel region is still not maxed out though. Because I need proto relic stuff, but I can't do that yet. So let's just hit up. We gotta we still gotta finish Chadley fights. Forgot about that. The best way to make tracks is on jungle. Passengers with reservations at Coach of the Cloud. I am new. Thanks to the monster data you managed to collect, I kindly invite you to give it a try. Yeah, I know. I got it. I just haven't done it. <laughs> okay, oh, skewer it. Ooh, 
Ooh, listen to that music. Sick. He's peasy. Time for some rolling dice. Oh, no, buddy, you dead. No, you don't. Time for the soldier Moogle class. Suck on that, here we cunt. Uh, it's only when you use a move called Bonus Round, Kamari. He basically does extra damage and will it does extra stagger. Another set of them? Okay. Man, this, these guys are just so stupid. Eat shit, Spearhawks. Nice, we're invincible. Very cool. And give him the big punch. Come here. Bonk. Easy. What the hell? Moogle disappeared. Vitality up materia. Sand Slitherers. Oh, Strength Up Materia? That's a thing? Oh, shit. I didn't know that was a thing. That's awesome, dude. I didn't know they had such a thing. Oh, damn. Okay. No. No. Stop 
Easy peasy. It's cool. That's a cool version of the battle theme. That's pretty sick. Keep it together. He's all skirt. Don't overdo it. All the dice. Yeah, these guys are a pain in the ass. Ow. Okay, Sith doesn't have one. Suck on my dice. Come here, douchebag. There we go. Man, those guys are annoying because they're just so hard to hit. Because they're just like, run, 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 constantly. Yeah, the same fight again. No. You son of a bitch. That was kind of rude. They freaking popped out. What's his name? you come here dickhead got him there we go I'll end this yeah that was annoying Woo. And there you have it. 
Okay, all these all the strong dudes. Strength up materia, that's a new one. That's a new one. Man, I got a lot of these I still gotta do. Well, I kinda wanna see enemy skills self-destruct. Data is incredible. Thank you for your contribution. Oh my gosh. Well, I kind of want to go see Startup Gungaga a little bit here. But I do want to check this out because I'm not really using steel, so it makes sense to just maybe do strength up. Let's increase strength by 5%. Okay. Wow, red has the highest strength of anybody. And increasing his strength by another like 10% would be pretty good. Oh, so he has 69. Oh, but it's not the, not the highest strength. Maybe highest attack. Oh, he has high strength too. 69, yeah. Say, so go up by like seven. On the road. I'm so in the take presence care. of a wheelie master. Yes, yes, you are in the presence of a wheelie master. All right, let's go to Gungagaga chat. Let's check this out because we haven't been there yet. before the next ad and then I gotta go and then I gotta go to bed at that point because it is uh, late hell yeah there it is Home Depot music again now is there anything to check out like over here at all well sometimes you can climb this stuff so. I think it's funny the the uh you just can't swim through some sticks. It's like what? It's kind of, it's actually kind of funny. Those things right there are the single-handedly the reason why we can't we have to use the buggy. I thought I saw something up there. Okay, maybe not. That's just my imagination, I guess. They specifically make it so you can't like get up here. Maybe. Yeah, no worries, Kamari. Well, yeah, I can't go that way apparently. Completely blocked. Hey, up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> little Miss Carsick. Gungaga region. So yeah, we'll have to go back to the other region. At some point. Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say. There's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat now, eh? <laughs> sure. Uh, that's... Uh-huh. Cloud? You okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. Well, you haven't, so just, you know, just saying. Ooh, Kujata, nice. New quests available in the Gungaga region. It's just some junk. Yeah. That looks like a mighty fine ramp to jump off of. Wee-hoo! <laughs> Yo, frogs, what? Frog enemies. 
Fright Flower? Allow me. Amphidex. Amphibious creatures living in densely wooded areas. Their main form of self-defense is their ability to transform would-be predators into fellow frogs. They then dispatch this threat with furious kicks and punches unique to their species. Oh, well. I am now a frog. Uh, botanical fiends that take root in heavily wooded areas. They absorb nutrients from the soil until they bloom, at which point their appetite becomes markedly more bloodthirsty. That's cool. Buggy. Buggy left me. Rip the buggy, dude. Some kind of shop over here. Excuse me. Wow, there's a lot of, like, swimming around and shit over here, maybe? I don't know. Manifestation of Planet's Benison. I think that's new. Cannot swim any further. Gungaga Port. And they're really expanding on Gungaga, aren't they? Holy crap, dude. Lush green forests are great and all, but there's nothing more calming than the deep blue of the sea. Welcome to Gungaga Port. Seas as calm as ever today, which means smooth sailing. Yeah, and Shinra boxes, too. Always nice to have those. Anything else you guys have to say? Nope. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We climbing. Okay. But the best here. It looks like you got some nice shite, maybe. What do you got? Healing material, cleansing, fire, revi revival? Brother, give me that. Wind, poison, binding, subversion. Breach and dispel. We'll take those. I don't have much barrier. We can grab that. Disempowerment. D brave and D faith. Pick up. Couple more steadfast blocks. Outlaw bangle. Crocodile bracelet. Cool. Some nice stuff here. Come back anytime. We like to see that stuff. Now let's take a look at our junk. I'm still equipping with enhanced gold armlet. Jeez. Kind of sad. Oh, yeah, these are way better. Holy crap. Uh, probably makes more sense given the outlaw. Wow, he's got that too? Jeez. Even, even the outlaw. Damn, the outlaw is just better outright. <laughs> yeah, I really am not using chakra anymore, so let's go and give him revival. That would be good. 
Because he's usually like the last one to die, so. Where's it at? There it is. I'm really not using Wharf either, so Revival here, because he's pretty tanky. I think it just makes sense. Okay, there we go. This is where we store Gengaga mushrooms until they ship. Take a whiff. Don't they smell amazing? Gengaga mushrooms? It is cool though, there's like this shipping port here. Didn't expect anything like this. What in the hell? Is that a mushroom? Oh wow, I can leap off of that? Or a chocobo can? Whoa. Did you know, Cloud, that forest chocobos use mushrooms as springboards? What the hell? That's cool. I don't have a chocobo here yet, though. But that is cool. Oh, I gotta. I forgot I can't just run over things at the moment. Did I see some deer? Yeah, I did. Gotta say, it's pretty neat. The way these shitheads are back. Don't overdo it. Let's go. Easy. The hell is this thing? Oh yeah, we got a little shop over here, huh? Check this guy out first. Chimera Mimic. Too bad. Large insects that infest forested regions. At first blush, they appear to be disturbing amalgamation of other arthropods. To attract prey, they are capable of twisting their form to resemble that of a flower. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will pressure them. Okay, that was Let's not what I expected yes. there. You got this. Oh, look at me bouncing them. Sick. Double dice. We have a weakness, ice and lightning. Okay. Wow, that poison and defense down? That's kind of gross. Kind of mean, too. Hey, rest stop. What up, bud? I got you, I got you. It's good to have one of these now. Man, that's cool, man. Having, like, a, there's an actual jungle. I never even considered that Gungaga was in a jungle. Like, it was just kind of there, you know? But that's kind of cool. Seems... Is pretty backwater, I guess, in a way. Yeah, we're definitely gonna want to focus on like the main path, probably. Gungaga Pine, yeah. We'll probably want to go this way because we're gonna want to unlock chocobos and shit as soon as I can. So satisfied how they, dude. The overworld is incredible, Kamari. Like it's so much better than I could have ever imagined. Like it's insane how good it is. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It, like, really expands upon the FF7 world in a way I never thought it it would. This game's... This game... Like, if I could give this game a higher, like, like 11 out of 10, I would. Or something. Like, 12 out of 10, 100 out of 10. Like, it's so crazy what they've done with this game. Oh, there's little babies, babies right there. Which means there's... Choke Wait, Fiend won a croaking chorus? We're in dangerous territory then. Rare Amphidex variant detected. Oh, look at these guys. Commencing guidance protocol. During mating season, the males undergo a chromatic change to attract females. 
visual analysis suggests love is in the air. In order to draw its intended mate's attention, the amphidex will let air resonate through its vocal sac, resulting in a romantic serenade. Oh, how cute. The melodic nature of its mating call is so intoxicating that other species have been known to fall under the amphidex's spell and pursue an unrequited love. If you learn how to woo others like the amphidex, you can defeat any enemy without Hard to say. Oh, what the shit? I went, like, right past him. Rare Amphidex variants that have entered their mating season. During this period, the creature's vocal sacs produce pheromones that induce sleep in all manner of creatures, both big and small. So their elemental weakness will pressure them. Oh, no. Oh, I have to also not turn into a frog? Oh, Lord, this is going to be rough, chat. Is that a stagger? I think it's gotta be. That wasn't a stagger? Oh my god. It's on you. No! There we go. Nice, got it. Woo, yeah, that one's tough because you can't turn into a frog. Way to go. Yeah, that one's tough. You gotta really get out of the way. Luckily, it, you don't turn into a frog like instantly. Otherwise, that would be really annoying. Yeah, there's bunnies here. I'm gonna mark this on my map. I normally don't mark stuff, but... Um... That tells me that there's going to be something of... There's going to be some kind of thing I can dig up there. Rugged Shoals Corral. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of shit in here. Uh, can you rest? And like, look how many ways I can decide to go through if I'm gonna get over, how I'm gonna... Wait, seriously? I can just swim through this? Oh my god, that's so cool. Whoa. It's so bright. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know Gungaga was like a... If I just keep following the stream up there, I'll eventually run into that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I never knew Gungaga was like a jungle. I mean, maybe it's not hey, originally, but... Hey. What is it? You're serious about wanting to be our new best friend. How about giving us some insider info? Well, if it's dirty laundry you're after. Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. <laughs> oh, why did I even ask? Those fancy suits. <laughs> 
man, this is so fucking cool. The music is so is really fitting and everything. Oh, this is so sick. This area of interest. Uh, what? Frogs. Let's take the lead. Suck it, frog. No, nope. get the frick out of there. Are they going to transform again? They would be cool to see that. There they go, the crazy look. Yeah. They look hella crazy later, yeah. There it is, sick. Because, yeah, they do do that in the original game. Yeah, there's just a lot of forest, but like I don't never viewed it as like a jungle or something, you know. So that's kind of cool. And all the all the, like the the rocks and everything around here, it's just super sick. Especially because the only thing we ever really see at Gungaga is in Crisis Corn. It doesn't have this jungle feel to it. You know what I mean? It's very barren. Like, that's crazy that Gungaga gets its own freaking region. I mean, I know Gungaga is going to be huge in this game in terms of, like, importance. It's just, that's so cool. Because in the original game, it's like, it's just not, it's pretty much pointless. It doesn't have any value. There are pockets within the Gungaga region that we still cannot scan, despite being within range of a tower. If anyone is capable of evading detection by Republic Tech, it must be... Shimra. Yes. Furthermore... As we have yet to detect a proto-relic, I suspect these issues may be related in some manner. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on your map. And remember, when surveying, safety first. That's cool. Well, even on the PS, you know, even with other stuff later on. What was... What did he mark? Oh, okay. Can you even see the reactor on this? <clears throat> Is that the reactor? Maybe over there? Yeah, that has to be it, right? Back there. Wow, look at look how big this region is. Dude, this is so crazy. Like, I never even considered that this whole region would be this. This game's gonna take forever, dude, and I'm totally all right with this. Look at this. This alone was just Corel. And this is Gunga. Oh my god, this game is. F dude. Like, how how am I just getting to Gungaga in, like, what, 60 hours? 60, 60 hours I'm getting... This is... That's... This is insane. This is actually insane, dude. I cannot believe how big this game is. My mind is... My, it's blowing my mind. I saw some shit over here, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, what's with this? Why is there, like, lights up here? This is cool. I know, it's crazy. And then after Rocky Town, we still have, like, Temple of the Ancients, and we got... We haven't even got the tiny Bronco, dude, in freaking this many hours. That was really cool. All that, climbing up all that. Wow, that's so sick. A rope? Oh, cool. That's the first we've seen one like that. That's awesome. Oh, my God. They've really outdone themselves here. Oh, that's a proto. That's uh, one of the things for Kujata. Yeah, because I don't think you can probably get up this normally. I don't know. Do 
Dude, and there's like ropes you can climb. This is so cool, man. I know it's simple, but like in a Final Fantasy game, it's like. you've been ratting on us to Shinra. Telling them where we are, you furry fraud. Guilty. I knew this cat had two faces. Wait, what? Come on now. I'm only pulling your leg. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed the bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp. <laughs> sure, I'm fine. Sure, you're gonna check. Sure your name ain't Stamp, dude. Th that's so good. That's such a good little conversation. And he's caught red-handed too. Crazy. This game is fucking blowing my brains, dude.